I'm, I'm uh, work at Selden. We're uh, based in Barclays Tech Hub Wise uh, in, in London. Uh, it's Accelerator with 20, 30 uh, um, companies in it. Uh, we run TensorFlow London workshop uh, every month. So if you're in London, it'd be great to have you there uh, to join in. We do, we do talks about TensorFlow. As a company, we work on machine learning deployment and Kubernetes, and we also do consulting in the FinTech area, doing machine learning um, in various things like effects, equity prediction, and various other, other things. So where do we stand as a, as a company, exactly what we do in terms of our product? If you view the machine learning pipeline um, as these sort of steps, you know, from training, um, data ingestion, analysis, validation of your model, Basically, Seldon Core, which is our open source, which is I'm going to talk, what, talk about today quickly, is we just fo focus purely on machine learning deployment. So after you've done the training and you've got you, to, you want to deploy your predictor um, out, scale it, monitor it, do all the analysis, and do updates, do rolling updates to your machine learning uh, production. Uh, so we're so also part of the Kubeflow um, so, so ecosystem. So you can choose Seldon Core uh, to deploy your models on Kubeflow as one of the options. You know you can ch choose um, TensorFlow Server. You can also choose um, Seldon Core. So how do we fit? So how, do, how does it all work? So one step, once you've got your Kubernetes cluster, you can install it via Helm or Ksonic. We've got our own Ksonic registry or as one part of Kubeflow. And then the next step is to package your machine learning runtime. Um, so for that, we use S2I, and that's what I'm going to explain today. So you, that's to take your source code of your machine learning uh, prediction point, uh, package it up as an image, and so we, we can then manage that um, uh, container, which is going to give predictions in your graph. So the, the, the final part is to actually create your runtime graph. So that's just um, saying how your components are going to fit together. Um, so your, your models, A-B tests, and other things you might do as part of the machine learning pipeline fit together, run together, and we, um, you, you define, that, define that as a resource and deploy it. We have our own operator that will understand uh, that is and, and deploy it and, and manage that graph, basically. So what we're trying to do is allow machine learning um, um, data scientists to use any toolkit, so Spark, TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, what we want is they can use any toolkits they're using now, and we just manage the one-time prediction um, for their uh, models. And for that, they just need to do two things. They need to dockerize their, their runtime component and expose it using our REST and gRPC APIs. So they can do that themselves, but we want to make it really easy for them to do that. So for that, we're using Redship, uh, um, Red Hat's open source, source to image uh, um, um, open source tool. So just for those who, you, who haven't used source to image, there's two parts to this. So you have your code that you want to package up. So here, you, here we've got a prediction component in Python. And then we have a set of builder image that we, that we provide. We provide Python, R, and Java builder images that allow you to package up your source code into an image. And so we provide all the dependencies, and then we provide the scripts in this case, assemble script to say how your source code is going to be packaged up with our dependencies, uh, runtime script of how it's going to be run, and then um, usage scripts. So these are scripts that are required by S2I. And once you've got those there, you can then use the S2I tool, and that will package it up, and it does all the work. So this is just a quick example. So here's, a, here's an example using S2I. So it's going to do a builder on the current directory. It could be from GitHub. It's going to use our Python 2 uh, builder image, and it's going to output this um, Python classifier. Um, so the first thing they need to do is have their runtime uh, component. So here's one for the standard RS classifier in Python. Um, so they do that. They can then supply a set of requirements so of what uh, packages they need, SkyKit learns, SciPy, and et cetera, and that will be included in the image. And then they just need to provide a set of, of uh, requirements of how we're going to package that image. So one is what, what the um, class is going to be called, in this case, RS classifier, so we can find it when we package it. Um, how you want to expose the API, REST or gRPC is the two APIs we handle right now. And what, it, what this is, is it a model? We also handle other types of things that allow you to do A-B tests or ensemblers and different, different forms of things like that. So once you've done that, and you can actually provide the um, environment um, as part of the command line or you can provide it as part of the source code. So once you've got that, you just run the uh, single line of S2I and that will build your runtime image and package it and then we can deploy it onto your cluster. So really what we're trying to do is make it really easy for people to take their runtime components, package it up, describe the graph of what they want to deploy out there on Kubernetes, then we deploy it, it's managed by our operator, and then you can go into the virtuous loop of updating your components, changing, doing, doing A-B tests, canary rollouts, all, all sorts of things you need to do in machine learning and production to actually keep that uh, machine learning uh, component updated um, and running. 
So just the final slide, a, a few call-outs. So there's two source to image uh, uh, deep dives and intros on Thursday and Friday, and I'm, I'm going to, to more depth on Selden Core, which is stuff that I work on on Friday if you want to know more. So thank you. All right. Thank you very much.